Hi viewers, I hope you're well. Let me start by introducing myself as Erika Mukisakimani, aka Mama Zion or Mama Maisha. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how people sell their souls. Well, there are people who sell their souls to the devil and there are people whose souls are stolen by the devil. And I was a victim of the enemy. My soul was stolen. It was taken without my consent because uh, Satan used the people that were close to me, my grandmother, and uh, she initiated me and before I could tell, my soul had been taken by Satan. Jesus asks that what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? It's possible for a person to be successful, for a person to be famous, for a person to be popular, for a person to be powerful, but without a soul. Many people have sold their souls to the devil, meaning they have compromised their integrity. The soul is made out of the will, the emotions, and the intellect. So when the devil takes somebody's soul, the devil has taken their will, their emotions, and, the int and their intellect. That's why they do things and you wonder, is, was this act done by a human being? Somebody with a soul. No, these people don't have souls. They have sold their souls. You've seen in scenarios where a celebrity in Uganda burnt somebody to death. Another one killed somebody in, in their compound and they are not remorseful. Why? Why do you see these acts? It's because they don't have souls. Another musician in Uganda sang and he said that he gave his soul and he died prematurely. He said, I gave my soul and conquered. I make my enemies to scatter. Then he mentions the songs he released from the time he sold his soul to the devil. Many musicians have come up and have confessed to have sold their souls to the devil. An example is Rihanna. She confessed and said that she sold her soul. Kanye West, he came out and he confessed. He said, I sold my soul to the devil. Many artists have come out to confess that they've sold their souls. And they also tell you that when they are performing, it is not them. They are spirits that are enabling them to do those big performances. Those performances that you look at and you say, wow. They are beyond a human being, you know? So it is very possible for somebody to appear successful but without a soul. And today in this video, I just want to show you some clips of artists confessing themselves that they sold their souls to the devil. Remember, I'm not only posting for you to just watch and take in everything. I want you to also comment and let me know what you think about everything that I'm posting. Am I making sense? Are you understanding anything from whatever we are posting? Is it helpful to you? Uh, what do you think about these videos? First watch the videos and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I love you so much. I stand as Erika Mukisa aka Mama Maisha. All needless to say, sold my soul. Sometimes they don't want to and they're, you know, gaga, we can't get, you know, the, the frequency's weird and, you know, it's sounding a little bit strange and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm gonna... Why is your hand over your eye? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a devil worshiper, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, well, I have tickets to see the devil worshiper. Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me and he says the things that I don't want to say. He was born, a, you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. I gave into the fire. I know I should have fought it. At least I'm being honest. I know that this. Mather. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. But folks, I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. So was that the great Rick Rubin who was uh, helping produce that with you, uh, Marshall, when you did that? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Live TV. <laughs> Try not to let stuff bother you as much as possible, but it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, but 
Um, but it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I was not human. Um, I'm sorry, is there someone talking to you? Yes, sorry. Sorry about that. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. Hello, Courtney, have you have we lost you? Mm-hmm. All right. It looks like uh, Courtney doesn't really want to go there with that question. I think she's question. blanking. So I just was wondering they how just everyone's came doing. In. Hello, Courtney. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Um, can you explain what this instant personalization mm. thing was that you did, and why you did it, and what was the what's the value of it to your users? Maybe I should take off the hoodie. Take off the hoodie. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here. Can you get someone? Uh, you all right? Yeah. This is a great moment in internet history. What? Alright. Um, what are we gonna do with the mic? Put it on your right. put it on the collar of your t shirt. Do you want some Do you need some help? No. Alright. Okay. Sorry about the Sorry about being quiet, Mark. No, it's We're not even yelling at you. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> we're not gonna yell at him. No, we're not. of course not. Oh. That is a warm hoodie. Huh? Yeah, no, it's a thick hoodie. We it's um it's a company hoodie. We print our mission on the inside. What? Oh, oh my really? God, the inside of the hoodie, everybody. Take a moment. Oh. What is it? Making the... Making the world more open and connected. Oh, my God. It's like a secret cool. cult. <laughs> Look at that. Making the world open and connected. Stream graph platform. And this weird symbol in the middle that is probably for the Illuminati. Every single man, woman, and child in the state of South Carolina awakens to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. I would remind people that every single morning we all awaken to a safer, freer world because of George Bush. And Nicole, I would remind you and the people of Florence that all of us awaken every single day to a freer, safer world because of George Bush. They themselves awaken every single day to a freer, safer world. A certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies exactly. in your high. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, memories today, actually. It's a big day in music history. 35 years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away, the king of rock and roll. And as Mark Cohn says in his great song, Walking in Memphis, there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king. Down I understand the more you stare, the more tired you become and the more you will relax. I want you to just block out any thought processes and sounds and just begin to stare at the light. And of course, if you have to close your eyes, I'm gonna simply invite you to take breaths in with me. Understand, every breath you take and every word I say, and out and just relax. That's We're gonna let Richard continue his work. my old boyfriend. I used to think about women sometimes. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I'm sure he was delighted when you told him because... <laughs> We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. Uh, it's a good, uh, <laughs> a good day to, to die. Uh, but I, I suppose it's because you had kind of a good day, and if you would have died, well, so be it. Is that it? That's right. It, that, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Have a sandwich, and let's go shopping. <laughs> yeah. That, that would have been at your choice. Well, it's about, I don't... 
makes about as much sense. A good, <laughs> or maybe it, there You've is had a, a good rough thing, year. You've had a year that would test a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Illness in the family. Mm -hmm. A breakup. This spasm of publicity about what happened in from Mexico to London. It was pretty rough. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Ah, weird. Hello. Um. Oh my goodness. Hello. Ew. Strong, Brittany. Um. Yeah, it was a weird. Ew. I'm embarrassed. Can we? doctor's findings and testimony. Log on to cfnews13.com slash chat to voice your opinion. I'm chatting too. We'll try to answer your questions. Uh... Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a quite a uh, turnaround in, in uh, well a very very heavy uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Chase and let's put the bit have the pit. Bill Clinton was nothing more than a puppet to the puppet masters which placed him in the White House. Bill Clinton's demeanor seems to be similar to a person who is under a hypnotic trance. In every way, and I was and so very proud of him. Did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? Did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? Health care. We need to make what we've got work really well and improve it and get the costs out of a upward spiral. Six celebrities who allegedly sold their soul to the devil. Six. Nicholas Paganini. Paganini was a violinist prodigy. He was at that point giving public exhibitions in Genoa at age 11. He was gifted to the point that individuals were blown away. He didn't require sheet music since he memorized all his songs. He had particularly quick and skillful fingers. Popularity and fortune early on destroyed Paganini. At 15, he was already a drunkard and a philanderer. His appearance entranced and frightened individuals. They believed he had the ability to part himself into doppelgangers. Some say they saw devil help Paganini with rehearsing. Once, lightning supposedly struck his violin po during an exhibition. At the point when Paganini got truly sick and was biting the dust, he drove the priest away from his deathbed. 5. Pope Sylvester II Pope Sylvester II was the first French Pope. He was maybe the first Pope of his time. The rumors about his evil deal-making just started after he passed in 1003. His incredible knowledge was viewed because of a deal with devil. He was known to be knowledgeable in arithmetic, mechanics, and astronomy. He is credited with creating the pendulum clock and the hydraulic organ. Pope Sylvester L.L. likewise acquainted Arabic numerals with the Western world. 4. Giuseppe Tartini Tartini composed more than 400 works throughout his profession. He made no church music. He focused in rather on violin concertos and sonatas. His Devil's Trill Sonata set off bits of gossip about his deal with Satan. Tartini purportedly dreamed that Satan had come to him. Satan roused him to compose the most famous piece of music of his career. 3. Robert Johnson Guitarist Robert Johnson was amazingly talented. He became perhaps one of the most renowned blue musicians ever. 
Johnson was born to a poor farming family in Mississippi. He needed something else for his life. He supposedly went to the crossroads of two major highways. Johnson made a deal with Satan there. He composed a song called Me and the Devil Blues. He knew that this would drive Christians mad. Johnson even stated, you may bury me on the highway side. He passed on at only 27 years of age. Notwithstanding, the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church in Mississippi wanted him to be buried there. 2. Bob Dylan In his song Crossroads, Dylan sings of being at a crossroad with his soul. He tumbles to his knees and argues to the Lord to help with saving his soul. According to the last lines, and I'm standing at the crossroads, believe I'm sinking down. Certain individuals trust that this crossroad is where Dylan offered his spirit to Satan. He traded it for progress in his music profession. Dylan indeed continues to live as an icon in music history. 1. Ozzy Osbourne The Black Sabbath frontman is famous for his connections with the occult. His nickname, Prince of Darkness, even turned into the name of one of his albums. Osborne's unique connection to Devil is well documented. He has been open about it all through his profession. He assumed he was really moved by Devil. He likewise essentially conceded that he made a deal himself. Have you been blessed? Well, click on that notification bell so that every time we upload, you'll be the first one to know about it. Please share comment and subscribe let us know whatever you think about everything that we post if you want to support our ministry i just want to remind you that we don't go into the comment section asking people for money you can find the information in our description box and then also you can visit us on our website www.lifeisspiritual.org if you want to support our foundation we have a foundation where we do charity and take care of the orphans, the widows, and the elderly. If you want to support our foundation, you can visit us on our website www.worldshare.com for more information. And then also, you can support through our PayPal account that is running on the screen, SendWave or World Remit through the numbers that are running on the screen. And also, don't forget to get yourself some copies of our books. We have written books entitled Erica Part 1, Seven Years in Hell, Erica Part 2, 18 Years with Lucifer, Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, Erica Part 4, Death, Hell and Heaven, and The Truth About Money. All our books are available on Amazon, Kindle, and our website www.lifeispiritual.org. Both our websites have our books, you can access them. All our books are available on both our websites. For those of you that are in Kenya and would love to order books, you can contact us on those numbers on the screen. From Uganda, our books are available at Uganda Bookshop, Enjoy Bookshop, and Aristoc Bookshops. If you want to follow us on Facebook, we don't ask for money on platforms and avoid con men, but our Facebook channels are Life is Spiritual and Erica Mukisa's Testimonies. Erica Belinda's ministry is no longer my page. It's a hacked page. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Mama Maisha.